Tree Studios featuring topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from life's daily grind. This is the Jason and Mindy podcast. My name is Jason. And my name is Mindy. Hello, wife. Coming up, I've got four mm-hmm. wacky news stories, including two. I'm going to share the, hi- the, the headlines of two, mm-hmm. uh, including the following. A man well known for making bubbles for children had his bubble burst by park rangers. This is a weird story to me. I, I don't. It's a little creepy, but I, we'll see how you feel. Okay. About it. it might be innocent, but it's a little creepy to okay. me. Okay. Uh, and a man who burned down his parents' house, or a man did burn down his parents' house, trying to get rid of a mosquito. Wow. And Mindy, what are you sharing? I have a very mellow compared to yours. <laughs> Mine is about pumpkins, pumpkin spice. Oh. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin spice. It's, we're getting into that season. It's you know? definitely that season. Mm-hmm. All right, we also have fun facts and question of the podcast. Welcome to those of you listening on your favorite podcatcher and those of you tuning in on YouTube and welcome Mindy to the show. It is Thursday, the last show of the week, and we're in a hurry to get into it. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> so let's do that. We really are in no rush. It's, 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 we're, we're relaxed. We are. You know, but I try to come up with a different segue to say, we're going to this next <laughs> thing. All right. Yeah. The music's not enough. And mm-hmm. I got to say it, you know. Anyway, first, first fun fact from me, and I didn't check these to see if they're actually facts. It's something I get, you know, and I just go, oh, this is cool. Mm-hmm. So don't, don't be a hater. All right. Now, first one. A person's sense of hearing becomes less sharp after overeating. So once you eat mm. too much, you're a little bit less, uh, your ability to hear is a little less. That's that's interesting. It is. Uh, the speed of a computer mouse is measured in Mickey's. Mickey's. A British scientist first invented the rollerball in 1946 uh, while working for the Royal Navy, but the word mouse didn't come in, uh, coined until 1965. Interesting. Thank you, Mindy. Next one. Cologne was originally produced as protection against the plague. It was Mm. widely believed that bad smelling air spread the disease. (laughs) Well, they had a point. Yep. Pumpkin, squash, and gourds Mm. all come technically from the same species. Really? Same Mm -hmm. family. They're all Mm -hmm. hanging out at a family reunion. Yep. Your zucchinis and your jack-o'-lanterns are all... One in the same. Interesting. And they all came from uh, Mexico 10,000 years ago. Really? Yes. Well, there we go. Uh, Fun facts are officially... In in, the books. In the books. You hear that music, you know what time it is. It's news of the weird. And here's the first one. The one that I was mentioning is a little bit, uh, a little weird. Is it perverted? Just, I want to know what you think of this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get your thoughts. Sandy Snakenberg, the bubble pirate, says he's been blowing bubbles in public parks for years. Uh, The homeless disabled veteran lives out of his van where he creates his bubble solution. Uh, But it would seem it's a no-no to leave behind bubble juice at La Jolla Cove in San Diego. That's where park rangers approached him, telling him there had been complaints and that the bubble solution left behind constitutes littering. A city spokesperson said, Snakenberg uses up six gallons of solution each time he blows bubbles and he was issued the lowest level citation available. Snakenberg has no plans to stop blowing bubbles. After all, he said, I'm a bubbleologist. Wow. Well, I thought it was going to go in a much stranger direction, but. Like what? Like, what do you mean? I thought, it was, well, when as soon as you said van, mm. I thought, okay, here we go. It lives in a van down by the river. Yeah. The famous. SNL. But it's just blowing bubbles. It is and just I don't, blowing bubbles. I don't see how that's pollution. That's or crazy. not pollution, uh, littering. I think what I find creepy about it is is you're just that's your thing. You 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 show up to a park where all kinds of kids are and you In blow a van. and you blow bubbles at the kids. And that's oh it's cute and adorable. I don't know, I just Yeah, I'd have one as a parent I'd have one eye on that person. Yeah, I'd be like, what's this bubble guy doing? Mm-hmm. So they complained about 
the littering, maybe there was another ulterior motive for the parents. They maybe weren't a big fan of uh, oh yeah that's of him true. being there, and they figured that's what what else could they come up with? Yeah, this that's creepy true. guy blowing bubbles all over my children in a park. In a park down Live, by the river. <laughs> in a river. van. In a van. <laughs> All right, next thing here. A man in Brazil accidentally shot himself in the leg with a crossbow while chasing a wild animal that had been terrorizing his chickens. The man walked to a medical center with the arrow still in his leg. <sighs> he wasn't able to identify the wild animal that he shot at. Ouch. He Did wasn't he, he wasn't he wasn't he able know, to identify it. There's an animal terrorizing his chickens, oh. but he doesn't know what kind of animal. Hmm. That's 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 what makes that's it a little weird. That's that's what makes it weird. Yeah. All right. Next thing in Japan, a man burned down his parents' house trying to get rid of a mosquito. <laughs> this is funny. After spraying pesticide all around the outside of the house, trying to kill the mosquito, one mosquito. <laughs> I think it's probably many. He lit a cigarette, and sparks from the lighter ignited the pesticide fumes. Uh, uh, then he had to have sprayed a lot. One mosquito. No, it's got to be many. Can't be just one mosquito. No. But that that reminds me of myself, you know, he may be just gardening. Yeah. I'm spraying myself constantly with that stuff if if he, I still smoked. Yeah. He maybe just thought it was one mosquito. Yeah. Yeah, that same that, that darn mosquito keeps biting me over and over. It's 15 mosquitoes. <laughs> right. You live in Japan. I hear it's pretty humid there. Mm. All right, next thing. Thieves in Vietnam made a clean getaway after stealing a truck loaded with $19,000 worth of bathroom tissue. Police mm -hmm. hope to crack the case, but are clueless so far. Get it, crack? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just wondered. You didn't, there was no reaction from you. That's why. <laughs> well, I'm still I get, waiting I get to nothing. see where this I got is. Nothing. I'm waiting to see what they did with it. Well, I think the TP is headed for the black market. Oh, they think it is. This is, I don't you know, around is. COVID. I don't think it is. They think it is. It might, you know what? It might've been that old of a story. Some <laughs> of these are pretty old. Like there was one that I did about the teacher that stole all the chicken wings mm -hmm. and I was going to make a short out of it. And I, lo I looked it up, you know, to get images and stuff. And it was a year old story. <laughs> Need a better source for my wacky news. They're still wacky. They're yeah. still fun. They don't have to be current. No, they don't. You know? So, <laughs> all right, Mindy, are you ready to talk about pumpkin and spice and everything? Not else? really. You know, I'm not a huge fan no, of that, I. but you know. Okay. That's interesting because you brought something into our home and we'll discuss. And I'm like, <laughs> mm, I don't like this. no clue what i'm talking about do you no because it, it has something to do with pumpkin spice yeah you bought a coffee creamer oh i yes. tasted it and i'm like this is disgusting well I, you know you, you went for you tried it okay. I'm, not, I'm not ungrateful i know but okay, i but. i've got to defend myself <laughs> you, okay you do, because do there's not a lot of options for you because you're an oat drinker well oat or, or almond but not not well, all I'm all I am is not is a milk cream. Yeah, but there's not a lot of like. There's tons of options. Eh. Tons. It's tons. just weird, you know that you have you have to do that option, right? And those options that you usually have, they're just they don't. None of them are creamy, like milk. Yeah, you're right. They're not creamy. But, but that one. They also don't give you the poops. Was Chabani? Yep. So I thought it would be creamier. It's not. It's, it's the same type of stuff. But it, it, look, it's just the it's just the flavor. I'm not again. I'm not ungrateful. Thank you for thinking of me. You're welcome. But I don't like pumpkin spice. <laughs> it's not something I ever go for ever. <laughs> you would think they'd have like a couple more options. Like that wouldn't be the first one. But I think it's because That's of the season. season, and hence, let's get into it. My hence, let's get into it segment. Okay, so these are the weirdest mm -hmm. pumpkin spice flavors that are out there on the market right now. Mm -hmm. um, these first two are for dogs. Okay. Bush Pumpkin Spice Dog Brew. Dog Brew. Yeah. First of all, this is weird. It's weird dogs. that we're doing pumpkin spice for our animals. Like they care. Yet a brew like it's drinking. It's a brew? It's a brew. It's an alcohol-free drink Okay. for dogs made with pumpkin, cinnamon, ginger, turmeric 
and water sold in four packs for $15. Who, who's doing this? Same person that's buying the perfume for their dog, the, the Fefe that we talked about. <laughs> yes. Same person. Yeah. Um, yeah okay. I, I yeah. Don't, I don't do that. The next one for the dog is Krispy Kreme Pupkin Spice Doggy Donuts. Oh, pupkin. And that's these adorable. Are, <laughs> these baked donut shaped dog biscuits contain pumpkin, peanut butter, and carob and flavors. And the flavors include pupkin spice. Okay. I'm not going to say pupkin this many. You are. Like, you just said it three times. <laughs> That's three times. <laughs> I'm going to say it once. <laughs> okay. It's spice original glazed, uh -huh. spice cake, oh, okay. spice maple peanut. So it all starts with pupkin. Yeah. Spice cheesecake swirl. That's they a, all sound delicious. That's their little branding they're going for, the, the pupkin thing. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that doesn't sound horrible. I, I would get that for him, but I don't. You know, I'm. I'd rather just get him some of those, you know, peanut butter biscuits or something like that. Uh, why go for this seasonal pumpkin spice thing just because it's cute? It, well, oh, it's fall. Let's give fall to our puppy. That's why. Like, I'm not a hater of the flavor, I but I'm like a hater it. of what they do to, I guess, the season where they bring out all this weird stuff. Because this next one's really weird. Okay. Like, who cares? Hefty cinnamon pumpkin spice ultra strong trash bags. Oh, see. <laughs> see, okay. So let's get into the pumpkin spice. I don't I don't like the flavor. I don't really go for that. And it is not because it's played out, right? Because that's sometimes people do that, right? It's played out, this whole thing. I genuinely don't enjoy the flavor of it. I don't look for it. I don't I, I don't like it. There are people that like it. That's great. Mm -hmm. Um, the smell is good though. I do think the smell, I think it has a good smell to it and it definitely gets you in the mood. It gets you in the season, right? So I don't think that's so bad. Everything yeah. okay down there? Well, I was getting a phone call and I, <laughs> and my wrist is buzzing. <laughs> Nothing worse, everybody, than when you're on a podcast and you're looking at your co-host and they look away from you and you're in the middle of us. Well, I, okay. Nothing so worse than being called I'm going to take probably. you down my, my mind. Okay. okay so mind. I'm, I'm like trying to pay attention. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you when you're over there on your board. Well, that's work. This la, is la, part la, of la. <laughs> Okay. And so I'm like feel my wrist buzzing away and I'm ignoring it, right? Well, I reach down ever so lightly and I touch the side button. Oh, to answer it. No, well, I don't know if it if it does or not, right? Because mm. I'm not that familiar with my You don't wristwatch. answer the phone with your watch. I don't. But then I have this panic that I answered Oops. it and here they hear us talking on a podcast. When I look down, it did not look like it had stopped. Oh boy. So I quickly... Press the red. Okay, well, I apologize for calling you out in that moment. That was very unprofessional of me. But that's where my mind was. I see. Okay. So now that we went down that that's track. That's fun. Good good conversation. Back to pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> so back to the trash cans. I don't mm -hmm. think they're so bad. I don't think that's such a bad thing. Really? I think it's nice to have a good smelling trash can. Plus, it gets you in the mood for the season. It, it is so hard to get in the mood for the season in Florida. That's one thing I recognize. Okay, everywhere oh, else, yeah. everywhere else. They're starting to get a little bit of a cool down. Mm -hmm. You know, it's getting into September now. Well, not September yet. I mean, California, they were, it was still where we lived is still very, very hot. But at the end of this month, they're going to start feeling a cool down a little bit. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, it's going to be fall. They're going to start feeling it. We don't feel that. You know, it's like you got to have some smell in the house to remind you that, oh, oh, fall's coming. That's why I love a pine candle. Mm, yeah, that's a Christmas thing. In the winter. Thing. Yeah, yeah, that crackling one, that one, yes. you, that one you get, that you got for Joni last year. I did. All right, so after the trash can one, we've got pumpkin spice avocado oil caviar. I don't, I've never had caviar. Me neither. So Chosen Foods came up with this one. It is made from their avocado oil and a blend of cinnamon, Ginger, nutmeg, and allspice. No fresh eggs included. Just nineteen ninety nine. Mm, yeah, that doesn't. Uh, I'm not interested. Me neither. Not interested. And this one, I definitely. This is going back to why I think it's overboard. This one's pumpkin spice latte body wash. Mm -hmm. First of all, we drink lattes. We're not trying to put <laughs> exactly. them on our bodies, and I don't want to smell like pumpkin spice. Like I like it in a nice. Fall, candle, wintery drink. And a or candle. Maybe a candle. Yeah. Or and maybe when you bake 
pumpkin pie. Yeah, ab- yeah absolutely. Baking it, yeah. As a, as a spice. Yeah. But anyway, they this uh, people are into Tree it. Hut's Cafe collection. Uh, it contains notes of pumpkin, orange zest, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and you know. You can't hate people for being into it. They love it, and you know, so. I mean, and the market knows it, and they they are they're all in on it. They're all in on all those products. Well, funny you say that because people that are really into it mm-hmm. evidently are going for this okay. pumpkin spice latte engagement ring. What? Check this out. Jewelry okay. company Angelic Diamonds offers the perfect ring for when it's love at first sip. <laughs> this twelve thousand five hundred. Dollar custom ring features a rose gold band that holds white diamonds mm. and orange sapphires in a conical shape, mimicking the foam atop of a, mm. uh, you know, of a like latte, a, la, like a latte. It comes in a box with a pumpkin shaped clasp and a cardboard wrap, like the sleeve on a hot cup of coffee. My big question is: Is it a latte money? Is it a yeah. latte money? <laughs> Is that a lot of money? That's pretty good. Hey, thanks. Yeah. I come lot. up with, I love puns. Yeah. They're uh, fun. 12500 is a latte. That's a latte money. Yes. That's a latte money I will not spend. Mm-hmm. Uh, Last one. But it is kind of a cool color scheme, like the orange and- It and, is. And, and, and is it orange and red? Was it orange and, is that what you said? It's white with an orange sapphire. That that would be pretty, gold. pretty, oh, rose gold. There it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a cool looking- Ring, yeah, we'll have I to think. check that one out. Maybe that might be a, a but I'm not I'm not a short. Yeah. Oh, it could be, yeah. <laughs> All right. The last one is Dumpkin Spice Wipes from Dude Wipes. Okay. These are exactly what you think they are. They're for the rear end. Right. So is this something you would go for? They're made with clove, nutmeg, and other fall crap. Yeah, yeah, and they're 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 <laughs> intended for dudes because they're they're dude wipes. But I don't really understand the concept of having uh, a pumpkin spice smelling keister mm. keister hole. Mm. <laughs> right, gross. Right, I think, and th- and this is th- literally no judgment because I'm not in the business of you know. I mean, I guess we all judge, right? We all judge to some to a certain degree. But you know, not judging with any 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 hate or anything like that, unless you're into keister munching. Okay. And you want, you know, and you want your fellas keister to be all pumpkin spicy, then then yeah, go for this. Get into that. Okay. Totally get into that. But me personally, just give me the regular wipes, the ones that have the regular unscented. Just the yeah, unscented. Don't need to smell. You know, I don't, I don't need it to smell good. I just need it to be clean. Hey, guess what? If it's clean, probably smells good. <laughs> oh my God. We're having this conversation. It's so gross. Yeah. You know what? I, I don't. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? You, you maybe have a point. Maybe there's, yeah. Maybe there's people down there that really would hey, like a pumpkin spice smell to hey, it. Hey, but. People are into that business. People are into it and to each their own, to eat their own, whatever <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. But, but, I'm going to throw up. But me, <laughs> if it's, if it doesn't have a smell, it's probably clean. <laughs> like if it doesn't smell like doo-doo brown, then I'm probably in the clear. I think and that's it's all I need. Time for the question <laughs> of the podcast because I just can't. <laughs> okay, well, let's get into that then. Please <laughs> remember it's it's quicker this time. Remember it's it's not the whole long one, so be ready. <laughs> I remember you cut it off. Be ready. Here you go. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, baby, you know the time has come for you to answer the question. Just like that. I'm, it's growing on me. Just like that. All right. <sighs> it's like an intermission, though. It was giving people time to like, you know. No time. We don't need time. No. Oh, Our the listeners. other, the, they need time. It's like an intermission. <laughs> they need time to prepare. <laughs> what do they need time for? All right. The question right. of the podcast is this. Uh, which historical sporting event would you like to witness? Mm. So you were looking some stuff up. I, I was. heard what you were looking up. Well, because I, I had one in mind. The only sporting event that I can recall that I enjoyed watching, but this was when I was so much younger, uh, was Mike Tyson. Mm. Yeah. I was there for like all his fights. Yeah. 
Um, but the one that made him the world, the youngest uh, heavyweight champion was the uh, Mike Tyson versus Trevor Burbick. Okay. And I was rewatching. That's what you saw. I was rewatching that. Man, he was something to he watch. Was. He there was so much buzz around that that human. Uh, he made he made many people become fans of boxing. Not that mm, uh, not that people weren't fans already, because there was plenty of reason to be a fan of boxing. But he was dynamic and he explosive, just, and then just this ball of power. You power. Know? It was pretty power. Pretty impressive. He was uh, pretty pretty uh, crazy to watch. That's a very good one. Uh, I it's interesting when I think of this one. Uh, now you mentioned last week uh, where we were trying to mess around with what we might think we we'd come up with. Mine is in in NHL. I was a big Wayne Gretzky mm. fan. Uh, he when he came over to the Los Angeles Kings, I became a fan. The year they went to the Stanley Cup in 1993 with uh, Wayne Gretzky. Um, I would like to witness. Again, because I did witness it, but I'd love to witness it in person live when he scored his 800th goal. Oh, no, it was when he passed. I, I saw it when he passed Gordie Howe for, for the leading goal scorer. I would love to have seen mm. that in person live. Yeah. Uh, just to, he just was amazing, like an amazing hockey player. I don't, I don't know that anybody. I love watching his the records. Kings. Um, of course, I. You know, my ex was into the Kings as well. Mm -hmm. And so I went to uh, at least a few games yeah. to watch when Wayne w was actually... Really? On yeah. the team? I think I did... No, I, I did too. I did too. Um, Toward his a couple, end, right. A couple of them. I, the season that they went to the Stanley Cup, I went to a couple mm -hmm. games. But yeah, and I, but then I was a big fan of them. They didn't... They, they I, I, you know, just loved the They Kings. were a fun team to just watch, period. They were great. Like, they were great. Yeah. That was back when I don't know what if they are anymore, but they're still they great. used to be really aggressive, you know. Yeah, they're still good. Uh, that hockey's changed a little bit, but they're they're still a, a good team. Not as aggressive, you know. Everything's changed a little bit. Uh, yeah. But all right, what are the listeners or the Facebook folks saying? Oh let's yeah, get into let's, the, let's get into that. Well, uh Mr. Rod Walker said the Super Bowl is definitely one I'd love to experience. Mm, yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. I think any Super Bowl is probably pretty electric to be around you. I would love to, yeah. Yeah. Well, that would be pretty fun to see yeah carol chapel says mm -hmm. jesse owens triumph in berlin 1936 mm -hmm. and the hundred yard in front of uh adolf hitler winning four gold medals in total did you say adolf Al isn't it adolf 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 hitler? yes you said adolf adolf, adolf <laughs> hitler who's this character i hate it uh, adolf hitler <laughs> You've never heard his name before, Adolf. Adolf, yeah. But when never I when I, I never, I guess I'd never seen it. Yeah, you're you're hooked on. You I mean you sound it out, Adolf? Even though you, <laughs> even though you've heard his name, how many times? You I could have just like said you Hitler. right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adolf. Yeah, yeah. Just how it sounds, Adolf. A Adolf, yeah, Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler, Hitler. yeah. Sorry, Kat, can't, can't, Carol, we're butchering her her yeah, whole thing. Let's move on. But along. anyway, I didn't know that, though, that he was in... Jesse Owens. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, really crazy. I kind of watched a little bit of that, too. That guy was crazy fast. Incredible. Angie says the original Olympics, game number one. Whoa, that would... I don't think... I don't know if that'd be entertaining. Probably doing weird stuff. <laughs> I don't know either. You know? But it would be interesting. Like carrot throwing... I don't think many people like this question. Tina's the last one. Joe's answer was what I want to steal but won't when Babe Ruth called oh, his yeah, home yeah. run awesome. That's a, that's a good one. Uh, she said, I'd go with one Jace mentioned on this show, 1984 Olympics gymnast Mary Lou Retton, yep. which, yes, that was amazing. That's what I thought you were going to say. Yeah, no. Uh, then 2008 Olympics when Sean Johnson and all the team won gold. Gymnastics freak here. So mm. am I. I did. I do appreciate all the, the gymnast stuff. Yeah. And Mary Lou Retton, she was something to see. Um, she was. And uh, she said, great question, guys. Went down the rabbit hole with this one. Had yeah. to stop. Well, we appreciate it, Carol, uh, Tina, and everybody. No, that was, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carol and Tina and everybody. 
Everybody that commented. Well, yeah. I, I call them out specifically because I know they actually listen to our show. The rest of them, they may not. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they do or they don't. Right. If they commented on like Low Tree Studios, then they might. If they commented on your page, likely they don't. <laughs> right. Likely they don't. And well, that's it. Yeah. That's okay. I Yeah. You called me out too on Adolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll. <laughs> I'm gonna listen back and die. <laughs> uh, uh, I, this is why we love you, though. Mm, this is why you're comedy gold. I'm now, also, sure. you're you're kind of a, a chauvinist. You realize? Like, oh yes, uh, I got called out for me hating men. Yeah, and I'll bring the listeners into what we're talking about. We did a water cooler. <laughs> I did a water cooler where I said 26% of men have cried over this. And Mindy named all these shallow, you know, your car gets hurt. Car, money. Yeah, money. Um, Nothing sentimental. Like, you know, the top three, <laughs> top three answers would be birth of a child, like dog dies, and then like marriage. Those would be pretty pretty significant mindy named none of those until the end and so you know and it's a we're li it's lighthearted. she's joking sort of i'm sure she was you were trying to answer but you know you're just it's not like you're being i was really thinking th you know things that men <laughs> so maybe you are just <laughs> no it wasn't in a chauvinistic way i was really thinking way. things are shallow yeah, yeah, yeah that's what he called me shallow um in in a way that you know it really would upset a man yeah, but crying uh, and, and so some men on there got, you know, here I am a man across from you, not taking it personally, but some men on TikTok, the men of TikTok, we should create a thing. The men of TikTok, TikTok or the people of TikTok got uh, really upset about it. They did, uh, you know, and to my, my defense, I've always been around, I guess, uh, for a lack of better words, a real manly man. <laughs> Because my dad, he worked on cars. My brother-in-law yeah, works on cars. Them. And so the first thing I said was cars, right? Because I thought that yep. would upset my dad and brother-in-law. To the point of crying, I don't know. You know, to the point of tears, maybe. Well, maybe. It's possible. If somebody hit it or destroyed it with all the work they do to those. You're absolutely right. It is Anyway, possible. I digress. Do you digress? I do. I think that men are, what did he say? Have um, depth. Have depth to them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was the one in front of you crying at your at your own wedding. Yes, yes. So, all right, well, let's move on. You want to move on? I, <laughs> I brought it up. <laughs> I brought it up. All right, what kind of business would you love to start is the question of the podcast for listener mm. participation for next week. You can respond uh, as these fine folks did on uh, the Jason and Mindy Facebook page, the Low Tree Studios Facebook page. And, of course, Mindy also posts it to her own page. I'm not going to get over the... Adolf <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though it's comedy gold all right uh, let's get uh let's get inspired here yes. successful and unsuccessful people do not vary greatly in their abilities they vary in their desires to reach their potential that's great yeah that's true so, I mean, that's one of those things, man. Oh, my goodness. The season of reaching potential is, is such an interesting season because, yeah. you, you, you know, like, you know when fall's coming, you know when spring's coming, you know when summer's coming, generally. But you don't know when success is coming. So you no. just like, what do you, you just keep going? You, you just, just keep, keep going. You just, the earth, you, you're, the earth of who you are keeps revolving around the sun of, of forward progress. And you just don't know. You just have no clue when it's actually gonna gonna happen. You just push forward. Just keep going. Then most people quit before they actually right at the pinnacle. Mm. Generally, is what I've heard anyway. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it is great. You're great, and that is our show. It is. Uh, we appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you had some laughter and some lightheartedness, because that's what we aim to do. We do. Uh, please check out our website, lowtreestudios.com. The links are provided in our show notes. And be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Enjoy your day. And thank you for listening to the Jason and Mindy podcast, where we feature topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from life's daily grime. We hope you guys have a nice weekend. That's right. We will be back on uh, Monday. Yep. Monday for sure. It's a full week. It's a full week next week. Thank you for letting us take Monday out this week. 
Not yep. that you had don't a choice. Forget, don't forget to check out our merch. That's right. Tpublic.com. Visit our website. There's a link right there. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.